Hello, my name is Warren Kidd. I'm Senior Lecturer here at the Cass School of Education, um, University of East London. And I'm making this video in preparation for our first UEL Teach Me, which is actually happening in March. Um, now, I'm quite an avid podcaster. I've been making podcasts as a teacher um, for my sociology and psychology learners for quite a few years, actually. And um, now as a teacher educator working here in one of the PGCE programmes, I've kind of continued that tradition really. And I still make podcasts and I think they're quite valuable as a, a kind of a means of e-learning. So um, this video is about my 10 podcasting tips, um, 10 short pieces of advice to help you to make your own podcasts for educational purposes. Um, tip number one is that short audios work best maybe kind of five, maybe six minutes, really try and keep the audio as, as clean, as simple, as uncomplex as possible. Now it might mean for really big topics that you have to make four, five, six or seven podcasts, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that each audio stands alone in its own right and kind of makes sense and, and has a kind of punchy, um, quite catchy message to it. Tip number two is to always record in MP3. Um, MP3 is an industry standard. You won't have any problems about compatibility of the devices that your listeners, your learners are using to kind of hear your audio on. Quite frankly, it's a waste of your time if you're spending all this time and effort making recordings which your learners actually can't then access. So always record in MP3. Tip number three is to try and identify the three or four key words or phrases which are absolutely vital for the content of each podcast recording. Say them at the start, use them throughout the podcast recording and say them again at the end. And give that kind of structure to your recording as a consequence. Make it absolutely clear to the listener what the point of the content is at all times in the audio. Tip number four is kind of linked to that really, which is an issue of planning. Now you could script, you could sit there quite methodically and, and actually plan, you know, word for word, the content of the script of the podcast. But maybe scripting audio loses the kind of warmth and richness of the recording of, of you as an individual and your voice and authorship. Perhaps it's better just to choose five or six things list them on a bit of a you know, scrappy bit of paper or post-it note, number them in the order you want to deliver the content in, and then have a go. If it goes wrong, so what? You just delete, you start again, but the time and effort of doing that would be less, I think, than actually sitting there and writing a five-minute script, because you can really say quite a lot, as you can see by this recording, in five or six minutes. Um, number five, try and get the best possible recording that you can. Think about outside noise, open windows, telephones, mobile phones vibrating. Think about your moving your hands and wobbling the desk and the consequences that has for the mic. Just try and get the cleanest recording that you possibly can. Um, linked to that, number six, invest in a decent mic. Some people spend quite a lot of money thinking about the digital voice recorder but maybe then they just re, you know, rely on and use the mic inside the voice recorder, which, which really is a false economy, to be honest. Buy a decent mic, even if you just plug that straight into your PC and you're having to record podcasts like chained to your desk, at least that would be a better option. Um, number seven, I guess there's two ways of recording a podcast. You could use a digital voice recorder and then plug it in and upload it, or you could use a program like Audacity. And if you look at this section on my blog, which is behind me, where I do these 10 podcasting tips, I've got links for you to Audacity, which is a really simple and easy to use program. You plug your mic straight in, you record your audio, and it's relatively easy to edit. Um, tip number eight is linked to that last comment. If you do make a recording and need to edit, it's relatively painless. You upload it into Audacity, you can kind of cut and paste it a little bit, you can take the intro out, or you can take the, the end bit out, you can play around with the sound file. If you do that, download the LAME, the LAM MP3 extension file. 
and that's a bit of a kind of mouthful, it might not mean anything now, but if you go on the blog or if you just Google Audacity LAM MP3 extension, you'll see what you have to do. You have to make sure that when you use Audacity, you can record as an MP3 file. Number nine, have fun. Think about how the learner, the audience, the listener will consume the audio. If you don't sound like you're having fun, that you're smiling, you're using your hands, it doesn't matter, no one's watching, unlike this now. It doesn't matter, just get the audio as natural and as rich and as upbeat as possible. Just like if you're in a lesson really and you were teaching. Communication has to have behind it that warmth and that enjoyment. Don't be kind of paralysed into fear, worrying about what you sound like. You kind of need to get over that. I really do sound and look like this. I came to terms with that a number of years ago. Finally, top tip number 10, the pedagogy comes first. Don't podcast for the sake of it. Podcast when there's a genuine pedagogic need, that it has a genuine teaching and learning need behind it. And more importantly, make sure the learners who use the podcasts know what the teaching and learning point is. So these are my 10 podcasting tips. Um, you can print these off from my blog, um, which is behind me still. Um, I'm Warren Kidd, and this was a video that I made for UEL's Teach Me um, event.